How do you think your development camp went? Um, I thought it went good. Um, I was here to learn. I think everyone else here was just to, to learn. And, and uh, um, I learned a few new things from working with um, Kim Dillabelle, the goaltending coach, and then with Brady as well. And, and they taught me a few new things. And uh, I'm definitely going to take that um, going back home. And well, you're used to being on the ice. Did you ever think you'd be out here at the beach, on the sand, in the water? What are your thoughts about having to come up to the beach and do all these activities? Yeah, no, I thought it was... It was really cool. Last thing on your schedule is the volleyball tournament. If you had two guys to pick who would be on your team of three, who would be your two teammates? Um, probably Ivan Fedotov because he's like seven feet tall. And um, I'm going with the tall guys, probably David Drake over here. All right, Tyrell, you're a little out of breath. What did you guys just get done doing? Uh, well, we had a swim race and then a uh, kayak race. And it was a little further than last year, I think. And I think pretty much every team quit <laughs> halfway through. So, But it, it was fun. Speaking of quit, your team jumped on a boat and came back when the rest of the team swam. What was that about? I, I, I'm not joking with you when I thought there was a shark in the water because everybody was, everybody was freaking out and everybody was cutting back towards the middle and nobody was finishing, so I just hopped on the boat just in case. So in reality, you were the smart team. Yeah, exactly. I don't want my leg bitten off. I got to play hockey. <laughs> so is it fun, though? You're having, you're having fun, though. Yeah, it's obviously a different environment than being at the rink every day, and you know you get kind of restless when you're when you're skating twice a day. And you're kind of a veteran at the trial and aisle. This is gonna be your your final one. So what do you want to take away from this final event? Well, you know what, we won back to back years at trial and the aisle, so I'll just take away that, and I'm happy. Travis, this is the end of the trial and the aisle, just before the beach tournament. So how do you think your day went so far? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. Uh... It was a little different from last year too, so it gave me a little different look today, and, and we did a lot more different activities. And uh, it's always challenging too, like in, in back in the bay, swimming like that and kayak, and it's a lot harder than it looks. So uh, it's going to be a good year to finish playing volleyball. It's always fun. Is there anything in hockey on the ice that translates to the beach at all? Just being competitive, I think uh, that's kind of the only thing I could translate out here. I know me and Vardro have been the most competitive guys, you know, in anything we were doing, ball hockey, stick handling, everything we were doing at camp. So it'll be good to uh, see how our team does today. Well, you're about to play a little beach volleyball. How do you think your team is going to do? Who's going to be the best player on your volleyball team? Uh, I don't know. I, I got to see who we're paired up with. We, we get some fans. Uh, hopefully we get a volleyball player. Wait, you just got done out there. You're a little out of breath. How did it go? It uh, did not go well. We spent a lot of time in the water trying to get back on the paddleboard, but uh, I don't think we helped our team out there. So would you say you guys are probably in last place? Absolutely. Are you having fun, though? This is your first trial in the hour. Are you having a blast? Absolutely, I am. Uh, it's been good so far. I mean, it's for a great cause also. So, I mean, it's been good, but it's been definitely physically grueling. Uh, hopefully it goes a little better than it has, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. What's your strategy moving forward to pull your team ahead? Just try not to be last place. I mean, uh, obviously you want to get first, but uh, we're pushing it right, right now. Cole, you guys participated in the Fudgy Wudgy race. What was that? So we had to, uh, I guess, run along the beach there, complete a bunch of obstacles and courses. There's a little rumor going around. You guys stole some other team's carts. Yeah, we were struggling pretty big time in the trivia, so we got off last. Everyone on the beach basically had their fudgy wudgy at that point, so we had to improvise and steal some of the carts. Improvise as in cheat, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> you guys are having a lot of fun, though. It's a lot of fun, yeah. It's great, all the support that we have out here, and it's obviously a beautiful day, so it's been fun. It's your 21st birthday. How do you feel about spending your birthday with all these guys up on the beach, training a little bit? How's that been? It's fun. It's fun. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, they just sing me on happy yeah, birthday. Sure. This year, this is going to be the year on your birthday you're going to get the big win. Uh, I, I hope so, yeah. I, I'm going to work hard with them. I'm, uh, I'm teaming with uh, Robert Hack, so he's Sweden. I know if they play, yeah, they play, they play volleyball in Sweden, so uh, it's going to be fun. You're yeah. about to play in a volleyball tournament. Do you feel like your your height, your size is going to be an advantage? Yeah, actually, my sister and my mom, are they play volleyball a lot. You are the team lead. Does that mean you put the most work in? Uh, no, I mean, I think we all did this uh, same amount of work. I think it's a whole team effort. Did you ever think that you guys were going to come out on the beach and build sand castles in front of this big crowd right here? No, not really. Before I got drafted, I did it last year, so I kind of knew what to, what to expect this year. And uh, I think I'm enjoying this way more this year. So you did it last year. Did that give you a little bit of an edge on the competition, do you think? Yeah, uh, last year we all had to just make a Flyers logo, but this year was more creative and you try to make your own thing.